So how to quit and never start again, aka how to never relapse on any habit you want to relapse. We'll see this one in the context of video games because I see many, many people struggle with this, especially before they start self-improvement. This can also be translated to any other addictive habit, but we're going to talk about it today in the sense of video games. Now, first of all, the reason why you are addicted. Now, I've talked about addiction hundreds of times, but in the content, but in the context of digital addiction to something, it's not filling your body. Like with drugs, when you're addicted to drugs, you are addicted to them because you feel your body, you feel that you have a body. And the reason more and more people become addicted to drugs and smoking and drinking alcohol these days is because jobs and lives aren't laborious anymore. In the ancient Egypt, for example, all jobs were laborious. If you wanted to get water, you had to stand up, walk around, get it from the fucking pool or something, and then drink it. Today, you can just order something to your house or just go to your sink, open the, open the water thing up, get the water, boom. And therefore, people stopped using their bodies and they stopped feeling their bodies and therefore they need something to feel their bodies again because feeling your body feels great. You feel better when you feel your body versus when you don't feel your body. So the largest amount of of drugs make you feel your body and therefore they're addictive. Of course, it's also like, yeah, you, high, you, you hallucinate and everything, but you do something with your body when you're taking drugs. And that's why they are most of the mostly addictive. There's also the reason why jerking off is addictive, but that's a whole different thing. Just as a quick side note, the reason jerking off is so hard to get off of is because it plays on both parts. One part that I've discussed in the past where you feel your body and the part that I'm talking about today, which is that it is a supplement. You just see it right here under the reason it is a supplement. Whatever you do in the digital world is a supplement to what you can't do in real life. Video games are a substitute for real life. If you can't do something in real life, you are going to do it in a video game if you want to do it. If you want to have sex, but you cannot have sex, then you are going to watch porn. It's as easy as that. You can give something to yourself without needing to work for it today because of the digital world. And it's very easy to get addicted to that. Imagine I told you something. You can either walk 10 kilometers for some gratification for a beautiful sunset. Or you can sit on your couch and I show you a sunset. What would you do? You would probably sit on your couch and, and just watch it there, right? You wouldn't walk 10 kilometers for that same sun, sun, sunrise or sunset. You would just watch it on your couch, on your phone. And the same thing is with video games, with porn, with YouTube, with everything you have. If you lack fun in life, you watch entertainment YouTube videos. If you lack intimacy in life, then you will watch porn. If you lack battles and fights and masculine energy in your, in your, in your life, then you will play Call of Duty. And I'm not saying that Call of Duty is a masculine game, but you understand what I mean. And let's just go to the solution straight away because I don't want to talk too much about basically nothing, right? So the solution is give the real thing to yourself. Because if you give the real thing to yourself, if you give the real sunset to yourself, if you learn to go uh, and invest a little bit more work, but then get the real thing, you will feel much better. Because what happens when you get something quick is always you get it worse. The quality almost always suffers when you get something quicker. So just from experience, watching porn isn't as good as having real sex. Being in a relationship is better than just having your phone, obviously, but it takes more work and therefore more people 
watch porn than do the real thing. So what you need to do is you need to learn to kind of work again for the real for the real deal essentially. And on this channel I teach how to do that. Now you might want to journal on this and I will tell you how to journal on it. I'm going to give you a journaling prompt that goes as follows. What video games do I play? You can manufacture this in any way possible. You can say, what social media do I watch? How does my Instagram site look? And you just document, right? You don't even think about why is this? You just think, okay, what video games do I play? Okay, Sekiro, Call of Duty, and Ghost of Tsushima. And if then you, you say, okay, why do I play these video games? This is the next journaling prompt. You ask yourself, okay, what video games do I play mainly? What video games do I enjoy most playing? Or what video games am I most addicted to for that matter? And then you write down, why do I play these video games, basically? And you think, oh, because I find in Ghost of Tsushima there's beautiful land. And because I would want to be in nature more. Right? I think nature is beautiful and I want to see beautiful nature sunsets or beautiful natural environments. And then you ask yourself, okay, how can I afford to give this to myself? Because obviously there is something that lacks in your life and just telling you, hey man, just, just go into nature every single day for an hour. Hmm. Who has time for that? And you, 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 don't, you don't just think, I can't do it. You can, you just have this more of a of a winner mentality <laughs> how can i do it if you can't afford to i don't know go uh, go out with your boys once a week if you can't afford that you must ask yourself how can i afford that and you should get pissed off if you work a job and you can't afford that it should piss you off right you you should be pissed off that because of that because you don't make enough money because you're too weak essentially you don't make enough money and therefore you have to stay addicted to get what your heart desires. This should piss you off if, if you work full time and you can't and you can't afford to free yourself from addiction because this costs a little bit of money. I'm not telling you I'm not telling you this is completely free. Of course, most things are free. Most things are going to be go to the gym, have a little bit of a fight, have a little bit of your struggle in your day. Then eat healthy, maybe have some fun in your life, right? These things, they are, but they all cost a little bit of money, right? If you live in a city and you want to go to nature, you either have to pay for gas or you have to pay for a bus commute to nature or you have to walk and therefore pay with time, right? So it all costs a little bit of money, regardless of what you do, you need a little bit of money to do it. And if you don't have that money, you should get pissed off that you don't have that money because you're a young man trying to improve yourself. You righteously would spend that money. And there are people out there who are spending money like crazy and they don't even spend it for good things. So you should get pissed off that they have more money for stupid things than you have for good things. And you just need to say, how can I afford this? This needs to be top priority because freeing yourself from addiction should be important to you. You shouldn't be an uncontrolled little weak man who isn't in control about his life. You need to have some form of control about what you do and when you do it. You shouldn't be sitting there with muscle memory that is memorizing how to press the PlayStation button and then go over to your favorite video game. You should have muscle memory for bench press, squat and deadlift. And freeing your addiction will also free you from the ghosts that are in your head. You you probably know this. I don't need to tell to you how this feels when you're when your whole day has passed away and when you just sit there, what have I done? I played video games, I didn't do anything for my future self. I just sat there stinking of something that I don't even know how it how to how to define that smell. <laughs> and I just sat on my butt the whole fucking day and I just played video games. 
how useless must that feel like i i just I'm, I'm trying to remember how that felt doing that and i just think to myself that freeing myself from addiction from things from like jerking off video games porn instagram youtube just freeing myself from those addictions helped me massively in my life it helped me save time and mental health and it helped me to actually achieve the things that i wanted in the first place that I, that I made myself cope with, with these digital sources of pleasure. And just rem remember, it's not just a video on YouTube, it's the real want from yourself. It's not just a game, it's not just an action in a game that you do. It's not just a button you press, it's something your brain desires in its deepest realm. And if you just give it to yourself in real life, then you will feel much better because then you won't waste time in something that as soon as you switch the PC off, as soon as you switch your phone off, the pleasure is gone. Improve your life with the things that I told you today. And one massive thing that helped me do this better and that helped me progress faster is meditation. You can click right here right now to get my personal meditation guide. Have a nice day and be mindful.